Good morning. It is a real privilege to address you at the European Transport Forum. I'm currently in Montreal at the ICAO Assembly, where we are completing negotiations on aviation to achieve the first ever sectorial agreement on reduction of emissions. Please cross your fingers that we make it. If we do not make a very concrete steps, transport will be the largest emitter of CO2 by 2030. The Commission's new strategy for low emission mobility should prevent that. We are focusing on three strands of work. The first is zero emission vehicles and vessels. I'm sure Miguel Arias Cañete, my colleague, has talked extensively about this to you already. The second strand is alternative energy in transport. The Commission is currently reviewing the Renewable Energy Directive. In addition, Member States will deliver their national plans for changing infrastructure soon. Let's see how ambitious they will be. The third strand is about organizing transport differently. It's important we work to make the transport system more efficient. For us, the three main ways to achieve this goal are, first, digitalization of transport. Our next step is a master plan for the deployment of cooperative, connected and automated vehicles. This will be ready by the end of this year, together with the report on the State of the Energy Union. Second, extension of the user's pay, polluter pays principle to all modes to ensure internalization of external costs and establish equal opportunity conditions for all modes. We are working right now on a revised framework for road charging and electronic tolling systems to be presented in spring 2017. And third, final, ensuring conditions for a truly multimodal transport. The Commission is strengthening the modes with lower emissions. This includes rail, inland waterways, short sea shipping, but also walking and cycling. Work is progressing well on updating the combined transport directive. These three strands require enabling conditions to become a reality. Research, innovation and investment are critical. We have made some encouraging new steps in these directions. Among other things, we ensured additional funding for transport with the revision of MFF and FC 2.0 financial mechanism. More and more infrastructure portfolios, energy, digital and transport will have to sit together, plan together and dream together. I look forward to traveling down this road with you. And I wish you a productive meeting today and please keep me informed about your thoughts.